Do not be surprised if I mix together the well-being of a particular collective with the well-being of the whole world. Because indeed, we have already come to such a degree where the whole world is considered one collective and one society. That is, because each person in the world draws his life's marrow and his livelihood from all the people in the world, he thereby becomes enslaved to serve and care for the well-being of the entire world. In other words, there's a very powerful sentence here. Each one owes each one owes the whole world and therefore the whole world must uh, tend to every single one if we are in an integral system and we are one collective as he writes then peace in the world depends on each and every one and if we still don't understand it it is our problem we have to achieve such development such education uh, that we explain to every person how much each one depends on the whole world and the whole world depends on each person. Or in one word, it's an integral system. Let's hope that now we'll begin to understand it better because emerging from the crisis, even the first one of, that the coronavirus uh, did for us, even emerging from this first crisis, which is the smallest, the easiest, already gives us a problem that we don't know how to solve. Because what will um, emerge, what will manifest soon, is that up to 2 billion people will be jobless, without provision, without sustenance. So who will give them sustenance, provision? Who will take care of them? Who will see to them? How should we build ourselves in a world where everyone exists more or less in such a way that there is no hunger, no sick people? So we're talking about a system of provision of staples and a healthcare system. Without it, we are in danger of people doing anything to get what is necessary. And therefore, now we need as correctly as possible and as quickly as possible to understand where the world is headed and what we can offer it accordingly. We still need to think, yes? Not start writing and telling everyone. We need to be confident in what we know and once we already see and understand and feel and everyone learns and we determine these things together, Accordingly, we will advance toward a solution along the way. Solution number one, number two, number three, etc., etc., and so forth, until humanity begins to connect. As he says, we already come to a state where we are as one bundle, one public, one collective, but we don't feel it. We only think that, yes, we're dependent on each other. So what? We have to feel that it's not a so what. That if we're not dependent on each other, we'll have nothing to eat. We'll be sick. So the virus that's coming to us now is coming in a very light way. It's only giving us uh, kind of uh, like a tap on our head, so we lower it. But the next virus will require more of us, more connection, and more uh, uh, careful um, guard and watching. And the third one will be even more so. And so on, like nature's blows, um, just like in Egypt. It brought us, in the end, to a state where we had to rise 
above our egos, to relinquish our egos in order to unite with others, because otherwise we will not have food or medicine. The two things that a person needs first and foremost. So we have to see what human society uh, does, how it reacts to the coronavirus today, and what changes it undergoes in its perception and feeling, what it's ready for, what it's not ready for. We have to be close to the general public all over the world in every country because to that extent we will acquire corrections. Now I'm speaking egoistically. If I want to correct myself, I have to prove to the Creator that the correction I'll receive from Him, I will pass it on to the rest of humanity. Otherwise, I can't receive anything from the Creator if I am blocking the way of the light that will not go from me to others. This is why we have to see how humanity responds, how it changes. It will give each of us great internal changes. He will be connected to the actions of the Creator, to the way the Creator acts in all of humanity, and we will want to discover these activities, their essence, and by that we will gradually promote ourselves into becoming the teachers of the last generation.